Let's start by setting up our routing configuration in an Angular application. For this, we'll need to import two essential modules from Angular's router package. Routes for defining our route array and router module to make routing possible in our application. We'll also import the ing module decorator from at Angular core which is crucial for defining an Angular module. Here we are defining our application's routes. Each route is an object that contains a path and a load children property. The path is the URL segment that will be matched in the browser. The load children property uses a dynamic import, which returns a promise, to lazy load our micro front-end modules. This means that our micro front-ends won't be loaded until they are actually needed, which is great for performance. After defining the routes, we wrap them in an ing module to create an app routing module. Inside this decorator, we import the router module and call its for root method, passing in our roots array. This method sets up the router at the application's root level. By exporting the router module from app routing module, we make it available throughout our app, allowing our components to have routing capabilities. Now, let's set up the main module of our application, also known as the app module. First, we import the browser module, which is essential for any web-based Angular application. We also re-import ing module from at Angular core as well as our custom app routing module for the defined routes. And finally, we import the app component, which will be the root component of our application. Then, we define the app module with the add-ing module decorator. Inside, we declare the app component, so Angular knows about it, and include the browser module and app routing module in the imports array, which brings web-specific capabilities to our application and sets up the application's routes, respectively. Finally, we specify the app component as the bootstrap entry point, which tells Angular to start the application by launching the app component.